Welcome guys to tutorial number two, quadratic equations. A quadratic equation looks like this. ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Here a, b, c are constants and you must remember that it is a degree two equation x squared over here with two roots and sometimes these roots are repeated. So let's look at a sample quadratic equation which is x squared minus 10x plus 24 equal to 0. Now the coefficient of x which is 10 over here disregard the minus sign over here and the coefficient which has no variable is 24. So this is the sum of two roots and this is the product of two roots. So you need to find two numbers such that their sum is 10 and product is 24. So the two numbers which give sum as 10 and product as 24 are obviously 4 and 6. 4 plus 6 is 10 and 4 into 6 is 24. So our x becomes 4 or 6. Now consider second equation which is x square plus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. Now over here the sign of variable x coefficient is not minus it is plus so the sum of two roots should be minus 3 change the sign of this plus 3 to minus 3 minus 3 is the sum and minus 10 is the product now obviously have a look at this minus 10 is the product of two numbers so one number is positive and one number is negative and the sum being minus 3 also tells us that the number which is negative is greater in magnitude than number which is positive so minus 10 is a product of minus 5 and 2 yeah minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3 so the roots in this equation is minus 5 comma 2 so you very well now know how to find out the roots of quadratic equation and if there is a difficult quadratic equation to which you cannot find out the roots by looking at the sum and product then we have a formula for the roots which is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a wherein these are the coefficients of this equation x square plus bx plus c you have to take abc from this equation and substitute it over here so you would finally get the roots by this formula but i suggest you would not require this formula for your gre because the quadratic equations which are asked are pretty simple and this method of sum and product solves them really fast so now let's have a look at some example which you would get in your GRE. Here is the question. Let's read it. If the area of a certain square is expressed in square meters, which is added to its perimeter, then the sum is 77. So first let's draw a figure. We have a square. I'm sorry that doesn't look like a square but yeah it is a square let one side of the square be s so sides of square are equal so every side of square is s now the area of a square is s square and the perimeter p of a square is 4s 
Now, according to the data given, the equation which we can form is s square plus 4s equals 77. Taking 77 on other side, s square plus 4s minus 77 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation and its roots will give us the side of the square. So from this equation, what we can derive is the sum of both the roots is minus 4 and the product is minus 77. So minus 77 is the product. So one number is negative, one number is positive. So what could those numbers be? 77 is 11 into 7. Well, then 11 into minus 7 is minus 77. But here we have the sum as minus 4. So it suggests us that 11 must be the greater number which is negative and ne which is negative. So we have the roots as minus 11 minus 11 and 7 as minus 11 into 7 is minus 77 and minus 11 plus 7 is minus 4 but it is the side of a square field so it cannot be negative so we cross out minus 11 and our answer is 7 so the side of the square is 7 meters so in this way you will have to use quadratic equations in the sums you would get like this so basically you would have to use it in word problems okay see you in next tutorial wherein we will study inequalities signing off j j goodbye guys